Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play series. We're doing another thing of uh, 20XX. I cannot stop playing this game. I absolutely love it. Hell, I just love watching this thing do its little swirly do. Little portal animation. I friggin' love it. Um, I've gotten some more little Jamalams. Some more permanent upgrades. This little blue suitcase guy over here. That means at the start of every run is going to be a really nice case with some with a really good AUG of some kind, maybe even like one of the little core pieces. Um, I was playing a little bit on my own. I bought all three of the neat items I could get here because they're really good ones, like attacks going through walls, um, enemies drop more health, and enemies drop more energy. So if I get those items, they'll be super useful. So let's give this another run. Still playing on normal. Ooh, I never noticed that. So this is the box I'm talking about. These have been really good. Watch this. Shoot in all four directions. And yes, if you charge it, you shoot a charge shot in all four directions. I am loving it. Armor's always nice. Come at me, penguin. There's a special penguin. Plus five freaking soul chips. That's... Nothing to joke about. Can't get me pineapple. Shielded. <laughs> slippy slippy. Suddenly I'm turning into Emperor Cusco. Great. They're always a little bit of a pain, but I love those pineapple guys. Oh, bad judgment. They're just a really interesting enemy type. It sucks a little bit that the shields that pop up when they're around kind of give them away a lot of the time, but still really enjoy them. I don't know if I can get up there. Give it the old Mega Man try. Come on, I know I can do this. No. One more time. Never mind. Screw it. Finesse. I don't remember what that is. Oh, okay. These are the don't take damage. And I have to remember, I do not have the uh, items I had in my last... Man, where, there we go. In my last run, I had um, some feed parts that let me hover for a minute. Well, a second or two. And those were really useful. This, having this crate with his, like, Alternate shots at the beginning is unbelievably useful. The last one I had was just triple shot, like three angled shots in one, like directly in front of you. It was the best. So this is pretty sweet. Too. Mm. I am not playing as cautiously as I should be. I hate these ice things. Little cannons off the side. That's how I died in my last run. Well, it was like a puzzle box almost. Uh, with a really sweet upgrade inside, but then you had to get out safely, and I completely did die. We... Who are we fighting? Visage? Captain Facey Face? Look at that giant ass face. I'm gonna get your face. I'm gonna survive your bullet hell and get the heck out of your face. See, it's not as nice as that triple shot in front of me, but it is a very useful shot type. Give me if I quiet up a little bit while I concentrate. Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Ooh, bad dodge. Ooh, this is one of the new ones, so enemies will drop more energy now. 
I'm really happy I unlocked that. Barrier. Special box. Three soul chippies. Uh, who do I want to go after? Oh, let's do the penguin. Oh, I can see his happy penguin face again. I friggin' love that. That was really weird. I wasn't firing him a usual, like, rate. It's also weird not to have the magnet helmet. It draws power ups in. That's what's so great about games like this. It's all about adaptability. You can have different stuff all the time. Energy vending, you usually don't see that. What do we got? I can be swift. Got you from below. Some conventional angles, man. You can count on me shooting four ways at once. Ooh, what are yours? That's how English works. Cool! Lifesteal. And what I didn't notice before, I don't think I mentioned this. If you actually look at me, I'm wearing that armor. I've got like the little wings and everything. Doesn't change color at all. But I really love that all the different pieces to actually change your gear. Beginning a level two uh, little gift. Now I really wish I had that magnet helmet. So I could actually get there. I like the teleporters, but sometimes they're in weird ways. Like I'm not sure we really needed to have. Nah, that's no big. They're oriented weird sometimes. I'm having a time with words tonight. Nope. Alright, let's now kill an adorable penguin man. As is our want, I guess. It's gonna say our right, but I don't have the right to kill penguins. But he's gonna try and kill me. Oh, I love that face. He's gonna try and kill me first, so that's totally fair, right? I figure I'll try and use weapon. That's not an amount of damage. They all seem to do a pretty good amount of damage, even if they're not, like, what the boss is weak to. I could have done that a lot better, but I was at the end. I wanted to finish her off. Whee! Health and things. Penguin Blast. Switch those up. I usually try and keep shields on one of the shoulder buttons. You don't use them as often. Who's fun next? Uh, I'd rather have one of these two guys before I take on Plant Man. Death Lotus. Clopter Perforator. I always enjoy this fight. And I love having his weapon. Clopter of these comes in threes. Whoa! See, I mean, just look at how much having this extra shot really helps out. Especially when it was this, like, when it's this specific one, the four directions at once. I didn't think it would be that helpful throughout general gameplay, but it's really, really coming in handy. Uh, let's do this. Come on, we can do this. Oh, it's Super One. Flee, I can usually do this, because it doesn't matter if you actually take damage. I 
not gonna catch me, Cloud of Bats. Oh no. I don't think this is possible now. I've never had to do that. I've never screwed up that close to the end and had to have them corner me like that. Oh, that stinks. First time I've ever failed one of the flea challenges. Oh man, now I want a new reality show. Kind of like Fear Factor, but it's hosted by Flea from Chili Peppers. Call it Flea Challenges. Survive in the winter wearing only a sock. I think it was Flea who... He messed up his thumb while in the middle of a show. Went backstage and filled it with super glue? Super glue or hot glue? And continued on. Finished off the set. And then Les Claypool from Primus, I believe, had like a metal cast with some sort of silicone on the outside so that he could play even after he broke his thumb. I hope I don't have to do any of that for this. I can just buy that? That's nice, but this is also really nice. I want to save the money for usage later. I should be able to pull off another challenge and pick up uh, another bit. Come on, perforator. See, it's not specifically the weapon he's weak to, but it still does a lot of damage. And I don't know if you got any, like, eye creams out of that either. Oh my god, and I got another one? Oh, I just want to see what my stats look like now. Plus two strength, plus seven power, plus two speed, I think, and plus two to my jump. I love that jumping is something you can upgrade. There she is. Like my favorite boss weapon so far. And it's just a straight gather gun. Like it's just a constant stream of bullets and I don't care. I love it. And Death Lotus is always a good one to use that on. See, I'm definitely doing better than I was my first couple playthroughs. At least the first couple that you guys saw. No! Action movie moment right there. Is there anything down here? Is that a fancy box? It is a fancy box. I'm gonna get that fancy box. Ooh, there we go. I like this much better than the four-way shot. I might have to survive my way out of here. gonna work most of the ways I want to do it. I might just die here and it'll be a quick session. Haha! Patience! Patience and two friggin' health. Anything, guys? Oh, I guess I just must have picked up armor. Ah, oh, so close. 
Those finesse ones are new. I've never seen those until tonight. I think my, my, my shots are going slower as I'm taking damage. Which is kind of cool, except when you're as damaged as I am right now. Hey! Almost jumped into the void. Not that I need it, but I will. Perforator's weapon just sucks up energy real quick. Alright, see? I was almost dead a moment ago, and now I'm not doing too bad. Cool. I got two of these. So weak. I can fail? Of course I can fail. Can I buy with 18? Which one do I have already? Really? I have the vitality one? Come on. I have two energies and one vitality. So let's go vitality again. I am so happy I bought those. Or unlock them, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's terrifying flower. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Done. And that is why I love that weapon. It kind of does that to most bosses, but it really does that to him. Um, I really like having the mortar out, too. Like, just the angle of attack can be really useful. It's kind of like, what's it called? What is that thing called? Oh, I'm an idiot. The axe. Duh. I couldn't remember. The axe from Castlevania. I like having an angled shot when I can. You can do a lot of neat stuff with it, get a lot of things that would normally be out of your way. Oh, I've been B-bombed. Beautiful. Some sort of super B. I've never seen a super B. Maybe it's not that super. Like, when I said Super B, I thought it was actually one of the tougher guys that would give you soul chips. Nope. Just a B. I've spaced out again because I'm concentrating so much. It's really hectic, but still, like, fair. I really love that they were able to pull that off. Snag that. What do we got? Alright, we'll see how I do. What? Oh, I completely missed that. So close. I really love the feel of a good finesse room when you're doing those. Like you just, you get the rhythm, you get the timing, and I love that about platforming games. Not gonna get me B-bombs. Diseases. Which we're hopefully gonna get to raise someday. Can't do it where we live now, there are way too many people around, but once we have the space we're hopefully going to set up a little apiary. Get some bees, get some honey. Add to the collection of strange pets we have. Maybe not strange, but unconventional. We got a ferret and a snake as well as a cat. I was, I gotta tell you, I was terrified of snakes before we got one. 
so about Python. She's adorable. She's sweet as hell. She's unbelievably chill. Um, I don't need that so much. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll go with it. Let the powers do more damage. That'll help. Oh, uh, that's right. I forgot who I was going up against. I was hoping it was the bad guy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How long can you honestly do that for, dude? Oh, come on, jump and do all the other commands that I'm trying to do. Ah, oh, beautiful. I did that stage really quick. Okay, still have three damn minutes left. Um, I end up, I always end up picking up weapons, or like the boss weapons. Whee! What are we doing? Thirty-four soul chips. This is the best run ever. Thank you guys for coming along and making everything so awesome. I thought I was going up against him this time. Um, this does give you a barrier. Usually the oh yeah, usually the quad glazer. I don't know, I forget the actual name for it. It's practically the same thing. It's like the Quint Laser or something. It's the Quad Glazer from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It is a giant square that just relentlessly, slowly moves forward. Okay, now is where things get really hairy. Dude. Oh my god, I have pop tarts. When I am done recording for the night, I am so having some pop tarts. They make Jolly Rancher flavored ones. I got watermelon. They are surprisingly good. Oh, ah. See, this is what I mean. Like, the levels get seriously hairy, and you gotta really be on your toes. Oh, I've seen this element before. I love it. It's a little hoppity so you don't get destroyed. Because I'm an adult and that's the language I decided to use. Hoppities. Flee! Don't die at the very end again, you jerk! So usually they're pretty simple like that one. Ooh! Not leaving one behind, right? Cool! A little, ah, a little help on the healthy thing. Just waiting out patterns. Nope. Oh, cripes! Well, that's the run! 2148, pretty good. We got several weapons. Didn't nah, I took an alright amount of damage. But most importantly, I got a ton of soul chips. What do we got to unlock? Unspent nuts pay dividends? That's really helpful. Power damage down. And these are not something I will start with. These are some power-ups I can unlock that I might find in the future. Oh, cool. I can just unlock a Mega Nut, which I'm just going to gloss over and not deal with. Cool. Not bad. What do we got here? So, so many. Starting energy permanently becomes 12 is really good. You know what? I want to start getting this. Because this is the next level up, and I'd rather just have it, you know? I could get this one as well, but I'd rather not put the sink too much into that. Let's unlock some of these guys. Being able to find these, I'm gonna love. We have enough to finish these off, so let's just get all of these. Whoop, 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 whee!
Oh my god, does he purr? Hold on a sec. I think that's a purr. That is fantastic. Well, that was a pretty good run. That I got a lot of things done. I got to show off a lot of the neat new stuff that I've unlocked. I uh, got several weapons. I mean, that was just overall a really good run. And I'm going to do at least one more tonight. So thanks for coming by. I'll see you guys on the next one.